Hi, this is Steve Holquist of Red Seal, and this is the sixth in the eight-part video series Certifying Your Network with Red Seal. In this video, we'll take a look at how Red Seal helps you prioritize the patching of your vulnerabilities. Red Seal not only imports device configurations and models your network as it's built, but it also imports vulnerability scan data from virtually all of the leading scanners. Once it's done that, it adds the access content to the vulnerability information and is able to tell you whether or not vulnerabilities are accessible over your network. As you see at the bottom of the home page of the Red Seal client, at a glance, you can see how many of your hosts with vulnerabilities are directly attackable from a threat source. You can also tell from this that some of these vulnerabilities can host a pivot attack, or what we call they're leapfroggable. As a result, a leapfrog attack or an indirect attack could attack an additional set of hosts, this yellow ball, which represents 269 hosts. You'll also note that there are some hosts that are protected. Now, this doesn't mean they don't have vulnerabilities. It simply means that the vulnerabilities on them are inaccessible from a threat source. With this general information, you may want to know some more specifics about both the vulnerabilities that are found and the hosts and which ones should be patched first. Red Seal's Vulnerabilities tab prioritizes vulnerabilities based on their overall risk in your network. This means when you're deciding which patches you should test first, the obvious choices are those at the top of this list. Similarly, wanting to know which of the hosts need to be patched first is an obvious next question. This heat map is showing you the highest risk and highest value hosts in your network. The redder the host, the more risk it represents. The larger the box representing the host, the more value the host has. Similarly, you may want to know which host to patch first. In this case, there is one particular host in this network that allows access to a very large number of otherwise inaccessible hosts. So it represents a pivot attack risk. This host is the one that you should patch first. This has been Steve Holtquist with Red Seal in the sixth of our eight part series on certifying your network with Red Seal. In this brief video, we took a look at the high level perspective of how to prioritize your vulnerability patching. Thank you for joining me.